Papa Wemba's final moments were on stage, doing what he did best. He collapsed in front of thousands of fans at a concert in Cote d'Ivoire. He was rushed to a nearby clinic, but couldn't be resuscitated. He died in the early hours of Sunday morning. The Democratic Republic of Congo's culture minister called his death a great loss for the country and all of Africa, and praised Papa Wemba as a self-made man and a role model for Congolese youth. The 66-year-old's death shook fans in Côte d'Ivoire, where he was due to close a three-day music festival. All our people were at work preparing for the concert. It is truly sad what has happened. It is really sad news. The death of Papa Wemba, a great artist who has unfortunately passed on. His death has been felt across the world. Fans and colleagues paid their respects on social media and in person on Sunday. Papa Wemba rose to fame in the Congolese capital of Kinshasa during the 1970s. His fusion of African and Latin styles inspired a generation of African musicians and earned him the title as King of Congolese Rumba. Clementine Logan, CCTV. Well, earlier we spoke to the Democratic Republic of Congo's government spokesperson and asked how Papa Wemba's death has impacted on the country. Everybody here, starting from the head of state to the very humble citizens, we are shocked by the disappearance of this uh, very big ambassador of our culture, uh, Congolese culture, African culture, all around the world. We are shocked because we didn't expect that he could die in such a conditions since he was not uh, showing any uh, signals of being uh, very sick, and it is a big loss for all of us. The Ministry of Culture is making arrangements, but we received instruction from the President Kabila, who is now in New York, to really give him all the honors he deserves, and the program will be published. I think this a day or tomorrow while waiting the body to come back from Abidjan. His legacy is the legacy of someone who was uh, really very creative, but not only he, were, he was very generous. Myself, I remember him coming to perform to wedding of my daughter. He was very generous, he was very creative, and we are, we were very proud of him. Now, Papa Wemba remained one of Africa's most popular stars, a pioneer of Sukhus music. He combined Western influences with traditional sounds, earning him fame on the continent and beyond. In the Democratic Republic of Congo and the African continent, Papa Wemba was known as the King of Rumba. Born as Jules Shungwe Badio, Wemba was influenced by music in his childhood. He began his career in the late 1960s, becoming a staple of African music over the following decades. He was particularly famous for blending traditional African music with Western sounds, helping popularize Congolese music beyond Africa. He worked with international stars, including former Genesis singer Peter Gabriel. Wemba also performed in various concerts, including one in London for Nelson Mandela's 90th birthday. Beyond music, he was also known for his extraordinary dress sense. He became a leader of a group of young Congolese who hit back at the hardship and gloom that surrounded them in their country by developing an obsession for expensive designer clothes. The Suppers were the dandies of Kinshasa, and Papa Wemba was their hero. But the King of Rumba also had his fair share of controversy. In 2004, he faced trial in France for smuggling people into Europe, claiming they were band or crew members. He briefly served time in jail, but maintained that others had done so using his name. This controversy did little to dampen the spirit of the King of Rumba, and his fans know that his spirit lives on through his music. Susan Mongeli, CCTV. 
Sport to discuss the life and legacy of uh, Papa Wemba a little further. I'm joined now here in studio by Kenyan musician Kagwe Mongai. Kagwe, thanks very much uh, for your time and for thanks joining for us today. Me. Um, of course, we know that Papa Wemba's music not only crossed borders, but certainly crossed generations. Right. Just tell us how his music has influenced young artists in Kenya. I mean, I can, I can speak for myself when I say, um, you know, growing up, in school, we, we did uh, lots of concerts and things like that. And Papa Wemba was some music we know we sampled. And at the time, people would say, you know, th say things like Tiki Barie or Eki Barie. But, you know, Take Me By The Hand is something that um, is a song that, that is very influential to me personally. You know, it's, it's, um, it's been able to guide my music in terms of the positive impact that it has, not just in terms of the message, but, I mean, when you look at the style, the sukus and the rumba, Things like that are things that I like to, you know, apply into my music as a producer as well. So, um, not just for me, I think you can look at other producers, people like RK, you know, musicians like Saudi Soul. All of those people, I think, have been greatly impacted by Papa Wemba. And some say that part of uh, Papa Wemba's magic was that he was able to blend uh, so, so seamlessly both Western and African music. Uh, is this an element that, uh, that has attracted you or, or sort of led you towards his music? I think so, definitely. And I think that's what a lot of people were able to gravitate towards, you know. Um, a lot of people saying, you know, music has no language, you know, so language is never a barrier. But he, he saw past that and he was able to, you know, write songs in music that weren't his mother tongue. You know, he wrote songs in English and Swahili. And I mean, even when I was in university studying music, we learned about Papa Wemba and the music that he did. So all the way in the UK, I think that's quite a big testament to, you know, his impact on the Western world, even from here. Mm. You know? And of course, he's also very famous for, for nurturing talent, the likes of Kofi Um He also had a, a career that spanned decades. What do you think other African musicians in this generation can learn from him? You know, I think, I think that's one of the most admirable things about him, you know, being able to take musicians like that under your wing to pass on the knowledge, because that's the thing with African music, because it's so, it's so, um, unstructured as, as it is, you, you need to be able to pass down that knowledge. Um, and it's something that I look forward to doing as a musician, to being able to share what I've learned, my influences, so that into the future, you know, someone can say, Kago Mungai helped me down this road. Indeed, well, we'll be yeah. looking for the evidence of that. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you for having me. Kago Mungai sharing his thoughts on the life and legacy of Papa Wemba.